Hello everyone, welcome back to Technology Central. If you're new here, go ahead and click the subscribe button and turn on my notification with the bell icon so that you won't miss any future videos. Today we'll be removing and replacing the memory and hard drive of this laptop, the Dell Latitude E5440. This model is a 2013 laptop that can keep up quite well as a daily driver, but if you want to make your latitude faster, this video will help you out. Let's get started. There are five screws on the back of the laptop. Unscrew each one and set them aside. There are two screws that are recessed into the back of the laptop. I recommend you use a magnetic bit to get them out or use a flathead screwdriver and lift each screw out. Once you finish that, press the two sliders underneath the battery slot and remove the battery. Then remove the SD card if you have one inserted, remove any and all peripherals, and begin prying off the back cover. It's relatively easy to do with just your hands. Set the cover to the side. To remove the memory, press the two metal brackets on the side of each memory stick down slightly then slide out the memory. Be very careful with your memory sticks. To remove the hard drive or SSD, whichever one you have, first unscrew the metal bracket. Set the two screws and bracket to the side. Take the strip pointing out and pull it from until the entire storage device is disconnected from its SATA port. Then carefully remove it from the rubber strips on the side. Set everything to the side. To replace the memory, insert each stick the correct way and press down on the stick until the metal brackets click around it, securing it in place. To replace the new hard drive or SSD, reposition the rubber strips on the side. Then slide your entire storage device into the SATA port until it clicks and is connected. Rescrew the metal bracket with its two screws to secure it. It's very important to separate your screws and to not mix them up. Now, replace the back cover. Make sure you press over the entire surface to make sure that it is properly closed. Reinsert all of your screws. Make sure to insert the correct ones.
Next, reinsert the battery. Your final step is to boot it up. I hope you enjoyed my video. Subscribe, watch some of my other videos, and like this video.